Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Mary if you're new here. Today we're going to start a bit of a fun challenge that I've never done before. I'm going to try waking up at 5 a.m. every day this week to have more reading time for myself in the mornings. So it is literally, what day is it today? February 11th and yesterday I finally finished my first book in February which on average I read usually around 9 to 12 books on a given month. So the fact that it's almost halfway through the month and I just finished my first book is wild. It's wild to me. Life has just been a very busy. I'm not really in a slump. I'm really enjoying the books that I'm reading. It just, it's been a busy month, which is shocking because February is usually not a busy month. So I usually wake up around 5.45 because most mornings I do go to either a Pilates or yoga class at 7. So it's not going to be that much different, but it's really hard to wake up at 5.45. So waking up at 5, knowing that it is just to read, might be a challenge. <laughs> So I'm starting this intro the night before because I don't think I'm going to want to talk much tomorrow morning. It is currently 7.30. Actually, I'm going to set my alarms right now. So I have the Hatch alarm clock. I bought it for myself <laughs> for Christmas. And so I'm going to change my morning to 5 a.m. Okay. So we're going to save that. We'll see how it goes in the morning. So right now, the book that I am reading is the second book in the Simple Wild series. I finished the Simple Wild. I read um, the Simple Wild and I finished it yesterday. Loved it. So I started the second book right away. I've been reading it today and it's called Wild at Heart. I'm currently on chapter 19, which is a lot. I read a lot. I think like, what is this? A, a, maybe a third of the book. And so this is what I'm gonna continue tonight and probably continue in the morning because it's a romance, it's really light and it will definitely be something that I want to read that early in the morning. I am reading some other books right now like East of Eden, If on a Winter's Night, A Traveler. So hopefully we get to a good chunk of books this week. I'm really excited. And let's just hope I read. I wake up. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to get on the camera as soon as possible, but I won't lie to you guys. If I don't get to the camera and it's like 5.20, I will let you know if I actually woke up on time or not. I think I'm gonna be successful three out of five days. I'm gonna do this Monday to Friday. I think two days I may have a mishap, but not too bad of a mishap. So we'll see. All right, we'll see you all in the morning at 5 a.m. almost 6 a.m. 5.54. So I've been reading for a bit. I got up at 5.02. Yeah, did the morning routine. And so I've been sitting here reading for like half an hour. I've read about 30 pages. So yeah, that sounds about right. But I'm getting hungry because usually I start making breakfast around this time for, well, not really breakfast, like my pre-workout snack because I need to fuel before working out. So I've got some oatmeal here and I also made a tea. So we're gonna have that while we read. And then I have to leave around 6.40ish to go to my workout class. So we've got another good 40 minutes to read. So we're gonna do that. And then that will be probably the reading for this morning. So. Let's see how much we can do. Maybe we can do around 70 pages, maybe more. All depends on how distracted I get from these cats. <laughs> the cats are very confused as to why I am awake right now. And my boyfriend was awake too. So with both of us being awake, they're like, 
what the heck is going on? Why are you guys not sleeping? We are usually sleeping that this time. That's the update. I'm gonna continue reading. I am reading Wild at Heart, same book that I was reading last night. And I am pretty much halfway through the book. So crazy stuff, crazy stuff. I wanted to give an update about how my first day went because I was not very talkative at 5 a.m. Sugar is literally staring at me while I talk right now with the most angry face I've ever seen. Let me see if I can record him on my phone and insert because what the heck? Why is he so mad? <laughs> yeah, 5 a.m. I did wake up on time and I got up. I feel like I'm having deja vu. I think maybe I did talk about this. But anyways, recap, I was able to wake up and read. I think I read in total for hour and 20-ish to 30 minutes. So it wasn't that bad. Realistically, that's probably how most mornings are going to go because it is just basically an hour added on to my morning. And so I'm just trying to use the time wisely, but I still have like my morning routine that I do and usually I work out before work. So like I'm not taking that out, but most likely at least two days out of this week, I won't be working out in the morning. So we'll see how it goes. I was gonna have a really busy night tonight. So I was nervous for tomorrow morning, but literally all my plans changed. <laughs> So I have no plans tonight other than I might hop by Indigo because it is Valentine's Day on Wednesday. So I need to get a card for my boyfriend. But other than that, I'm going to stay in. So I also read a lot of Wild at Heart at lunch and after work and I'm almost done. <laughs> which is crazy um so i don't know if like this is fluke where reading right when i wake up really put me in the mood to continue reading throughout like different parts of my day or if it's just that i am like fully obsessed and into this world because this is the second book in a series and i literally just went on libby and i downloaded both of the last two the third book and the fourth book the third is like a novella, so it's like a half because I didn't want anyone else to take it from my library just in case. So I'm assuming that tomorrow morning we're probably going to start the third book, which is called Forever Wild, and that is the novella, and we'll probably finish it tomorrow. So far, so good. I'm not too tired right now, but we'll see. It's only like five. I think we'll have hopefully an early night. I did have a very bad sleep last night but I'm feeling okay right now. We possibly are gonna finish a book on the first day of this challenge. And then tomorrow I will most definitely finish Forever Wild because this book says it is 228 pages. So it should be very, very, very short. I'm gonna try if I do start it tonight, not finishing it because I'm like really close. I think I have like 40 pages left of Wild at Heart and then I'll go into Forever Wild tonight. I will see you all in the morning. Don't know again how much talking I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna have to insert these clips in the afternoon after every morning depending on how much I talk in the morning. morning i did wake up at five which 
great but I woke up with pretty bad cramps so happy Valentine's Day um, got my monthly cycle so anyways that was like my past half an hour was dealing with that and then you know brushing my teeth and all that stuff so I'm up we are going to have some breakfast because I'm starving and make some tea because it's way too early for coffee and read yesterday I don't think I gave an update oh boy um yesterday was really bad I had a pretty bad headache that I think was turning into a migraine Monday night and then I went to bed and it was still there uh, yesterday morning very like it hurt a lot so I was laying in bed. I did wake up around like 5.15, but I did lay around in bed for like, I think a good 15 minutes or 20 minutes because I was not knowing if, you know, if I could get up, to be honest. So it's been an interesting week to have this challenge, to say the least. So yesterday I would say fail, but today I'm saying success. I was up and out of my bed at literally at five. For reading updates, yesterday I read and finished the third book in the Wild series called Forever Wild. This one. I'm honestly so freaking sad that this series is almost done and the last book is following a new couple. Isn't the couple from the first three books. So I am in mourning. <laughs> But yeah, so I finished that yesterday and started Running Wild, which is the last book in the series. I think I am, what does it say? How far am I in it? 42%. I'm on chapter 12. I'm enjoying it so far. At first I was not happy because it's following Marie and not Kala's perspective, but she's growing on me. That's the reading update. So we're going to read that today and... I'm not working out this morning, if that has not been cleared already. So we are going to be reading until 8.30, which is when I start work. So that's a good almost three hours. So I think we're going to finish this. Oh my god, I can't, I can't finish this, but I probably will. So anyways, we're going to make some oatmeal, park ourselves on the couch. I need to get my heating Oh, I'm so tired. And let's get to it. Maybe. I'm here with an update. I'm so sorry. I feel like this week I haven't shown me reading much in the morning. It is lunchtime and we did so much reading this morning and I am so so sad. <laughs> oh my god. But I finished the Wild series this morning. This series has taken over my life over the past week and I am devastated to finish it. Ultra like I've never been so upset to finish a series in a really 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 long time and I feel the book hangover and I already like looked online to see how much it would cost for me to buy the whole series because I have to own it it's just like oh my god I've never wanted a series <laughs> on my shelves more in a really 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 long time anyways <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling about this series but I would definitely recommend it if you like romance and if you're looking for a new romance series to get into, it was so good. You go through so many different emotions. You cry, you laugh, you're mad, you're happy. Like, you go through all of it. All of it. And there's such a great cast of characters that really complete the book and make it feel like such a great community. It's so good. And the atmosphere, it's set in Alaska, and it's just so beautifully described. Like, ugh. I literally want to move there now, even though I definitely could not survive Alaska, <laughs> but I want to. So Sugar's like, can you stop talking? I'm trying to nap here, right?
Finally the weekend and the long weekend at least here in Ontario so exciting stuff I feel like I've been really bad at vlogging in the morning I don't remember what I vlogged this morning this morning was rough I have to say I didn't do as good as I thought I was in this challenge so I think I'm going to continue it for one more day because tomorrow Saturday and I think like why not why not just do it for another day <laughs> So we're gonna do that, but this morning, um, I woke up at five, but I was laying around in bed until 5.30, and then I got up, and by the time I sat down to finally start reading with like my breakfast and my tea, it was like six, and I did fall asleep for like 20 minutes, I think for seven. <laughs> so it's it's gone at the end of the week i have to say i've had a pretty rough like health week i was fighting my migraine for two days and then i got my period and so it's been interesting to say the least but that's all good i finished bride yesterday in the evening i really liked it i have to say it might be my favorite ally hazelwood it's definitely nothing nothing like the other books that she's come out with that are very science heavy right because this is literally in the omegaverse it's werewolves and vampires and forbidden love and marriage of convenience and i think probably her spiciest book too and i have to say a lot of the comments or like the reviews i saw do not like the spice i didn't think it was that bad honestly like you can't you just can't take that stuff seriously when it's in romance but yeah i really liked it i think i'm gonna give it a four and a half stars and so i finished that last night and then me and my friend decided to read ice planet barbarians last night <laughs> um <laughs> i didn't hate it I really didn't hate it like the writing is not that great but there is world building it is definitely unique um <laughs> the smut's a little weird uh characters are a little weird but you know what I laughed I was laughing the whole time and I had a blast except for at the beginning where like trigger warning there's rape that happens in the beginning and I was like what is like like it 
when it happened in the beginning of the story and when they got abandoned basically it's like these humans that get taken by aliens and they are left on this planet and our main character she decides to try and find someone to help them and meets um Vecnal. is that his name and he thinks that she's her mate and the story goes from there but like when they are on this like alien ship one of the girls gets raped and it just like it was just a lot in the beginning and i was not enjoying it i honestly thought i was gonna dnf and then sorry my hair is crazy i didn't dnf though kept pushing through and then i started having fun so anyways so yesterday was an interesting reading day i read that it's very short it's less than 200 pages and then last night i started x's and o's i decided to finally actually read a book i own instead of reading all of these things on a kindle and all that stuff and so i started reading x's and o's i only read a couple pages last night and this morning i got to page 50. so i'm on chapter six it's so in the beginning but it's definitely a shock to go from reading romances that are like with beasts right because it's just different stakes whole different dynamic and then i'm going back into you know a normal romance with humans in it and i'm just like hmm something's missing <laughs> but i'm sure once i get into it i will start liking it this is a story between a girl named tara who is like kind of a social media booktube type person and she moves into a place with a roommate this guy named trevor and he is like not into relationships but sleeps around and she just got broken up for her 10th time and so she kind of gets him to help her try and rekindle with all of her exes to see if she can have like a second chance romance trope in her love life and that's kind of where we are at right now in the book and i also did some book shopping and one of them came in and it is one of the books that i read this week I ordered the whole wild series uh, guys you don't understand this is like my new personality honestly i think it's my favorite romance series before it was the chestnut spring series but i think this beats that and they're both canadian authors which i'm like you go girls but uh, i just loved it so much and so one of them came in today but there's four so i'm waiting for the rest and i did some other book shopping too so where I'm not going to get those in this vlog, but maybe I'll show them in another video. So it's Friday evening. I'm going to go to yoga. My first, actually I did go to yoga last night, but it was yin yoga. So it's really easy. Today is vinyasa. So it'll be more of a workout. So I got to get ready because I have to leave in 15 minutes. That's the plan. So that's my little update. And then we'll do a recap of how my week went. She doesn't like being picked up as you can see right right oh you're so sweet hello good afternoon i am coming to you at 12 43 <laughs> it's saturday um i did not wake up at five i don't know why i thought i would have the will to wake up at 5 a.m on a saturday morning but I did yesterday. I thought, you know, we can redeem ourselves and wake up at 5 a.m. another day. And I didn't. I was so, like, utterly exhausted when my alarm went off. And and so I just decided to sleep. And then I woke up around 7, which is usually on weekends. I wake up at 7 and then weekdays it's like 5.45 to 6. So that's just normal for my body. But I wanted to end off this reading challenge and do a little bit of a reflection. I tried going back and seeing the timestamps of which days I recorded and, and got up at five, but a lot of the mornings I got up, but started recording once I like brushed my teeth, had made my breakfast, made my tea. So I think I woke up at five for three of the days and two of the days I didn't. I guess you could say it was a fail. 
but I actually really enjoyed it. And the days that I didn't wake up at five, I still woke up like 5.30, 5.45 and got my reading in and really emphasized that I'm doing this challenge to read in the morning. So I just tried rushing through whatever else I needed to do in the morning and get to reading. And I noticed when I started my days off this week with reading, it really made me want to continue reading. So any moment throughout the day, I tried reading as much as I could and it really set up for a fantastic reading week. And I do have to say, I think it was partially that and also partially I did do like practically all romance this week because you know, it's, it was the week of love. Valentine's Day so I said why not so I read the entire wild series which is now my favorite romance series I've ever read and then we read Bride by Allie Hazelwood which was also so much fun and then I didn't read this in the morning but I did read <laughs> Ice Planet Barbarians which was a hoot and then now we're reading X's and O's by Amy Lee which I am almost done I've been reading it this morning and after I came back from yoga, I read it. And so honestly, this was a lot of fun. Um, it was challenging and I would say definitely would be a lot harder when I have weeks where I'm really busy with friends or having plans. Like this week was pretty chill because I knew I was going to get my period. And then I also ended up getting a migraine. So whenever I get migraines, I just cancel all plans. So. It was a great week to try this challenge out and I definitely want to implement more reading in my mornings going further because I think it's just such a perfect way for me to start my days even if it's like 20 minutes. I would definitely suggest if you want to try your own rendition of this challenge, please do. Whether it's just waking up half an hour earlier than you usually do just to get some reading in, I would highly suggest it and see how it goes. Thank you for spending this week with me. All of the mornings of me and my PJs, very, very tired and puffy. Sorry ahead of time for all of the <laughs> morning voice and look, but I had fun. Let me know if you have any other challenges you'd like to see me do. I'm all up for it. I'm all ears and definitely want to do something like this again in the future. Hope you all are having a fantastic week or weekend wherever you are, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy reading, bye. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just